In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at how to use and modify the four transitions in the Zoom category. There are 15 separate categories of transitions available in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018. Uh, we're going to work our way through all those categories. Uh, four in the Zoom category. The first one we'll look at is called the Cross Zoom. Now here I have a uh, video of a fall scene on a river and we'll transition over here to a guy biking in the fall. And so what I've applied is the cross zoom transition here. Let's play it and you'll see what happens. It, we zoom in to the middle of this picture and then we zoom out from the middle of the second video. So we go ahead and play it. Now we zoom in and then we zoom out. Not a bad transition. Let's look at how it's built and how you can change it. I'm going to click on the transition icon and that will uh, allow me to go ahead and get into the adjustments screen. Uh, we're going to click on the more button and when I click on that it looks like it doesn't give me much until I drag my slider down. Now I have some new things I can see. I have my first transition and the little circle in the middle and the second and the little circle in the middle and I have two sliders. What's this all about? Well if I take my slider I can determine where how big or small it starts. Now on this screen here I can make it slightly larger uh, so it actually uh, does not shrink quite so much. Likewise on here I can make this larger so it doesn't come out all the way, it comes out part of the way during the transition. But the natural way to use it is to have the slider start at the full size of the video. The other thing I can do is I can change the place where it focuses and slides into. If, I, if on the first one I want to, I want to slide in and, and uh, kind of magnify the river rather than the middle, I'm going to move the slider over here and then I'm going to move this other one down a little bit so I get a different picture of the biker. We're going to zoom in on him rather than on the tree. Now I'll click on Done. Now let's look at the difference in this cross zoom with some modifications. Okay, we're on the river. We zoom in now at the base of the river and we zoom out from this location on the right. So we've changed the, the, the focus of the zoom in and we've changed also the focus of the zoom out. And we could also change the, the other uh, attributes that you saw in that. So that's the cross zoom. Basically it, uh, it zooms in to uh, the, the highest resolution to a pixel somewhere on your graphic or your video and then it zooms back out but you get to choose where and to what degree. The second one is the regular zoom. And here we're going to transition from the cyclist on the road to a swimmer. And so I'll move the playhead over here, the current time indicator, and we'll see what a regular zoom does. Okay, the second element starts at the middle of the screen microscopically and then expands to fill the screen. Once again, you have some ways to edit that if you wish. I'll click on it. And I'll click on the More button. And here we have some options. We, we can start uh, where we're, we notice we have a center circle here again on this one. Uh, so we can say where this comes out from, just for fun. We'll start at the upper left corner. We also can put a border on it and determine the width of the border. And we can determine the color of the border. We could use a color swatch or I'll, I'll click here on the on uh, using the eyedropper. We can reverse it or we can have three kinds of anti-aliasing. Uh, this uh, determines kind of the blockiness of the small graphics on the screen. We'll leave that for normal now. But we'll stop that and then we'll go ahead with by clicking done and see what difference this one makes. I'm rendering all these between the takes. That's by clicking on the button up here. It will make it play better in my preview screen. So let's see the difference with zoom as we've adjusted it. We'll click on the play. Now the zoom comes out from the corner 
and with a blue border in this case and it fills the screen. So those are some variations you can make on your zoom. The third is called zoom boxes. We'll, we'll transition from a swimmer to uh, two individuals kicking a volleyball around. Look at the default here. The default zoom boxes is a 3x4 grid with boxes on it. They start out small and then they expand and then they eventually fill the screen. Let's see what we can do to modify that one if we want. We'll click on it again, click on our more button that's familiar to us now. And here we don't have any circles in here, but we do have uh, a place to start. And you can see the uh, the images there, or we have a border width, border color. Then we have a, a little box called custom. Let's click on that. When you click on custom, you can choose the number of shape, the number of columns, and number of rows. I can all go all the way down to uh, uh, one wide, one tall. So I basically only have one. I can go up to two by two. I can go two by four. Uh, three by two by three, etc. So I can go up to a very high value of rows and columns for the number of boxes. Just for fun, let me try it this way, where I have uh, one row and eight columns. I'll click on OK and click on Done. So let's see what happens when we use this modified version of our Zoom boxes. All right. So you have lots of ways in which you can adjust this particular transition. The last one is called Zoom Trails. Let's show you what that does. Okay, again, it happens quickly. What it does, in this case, it created 10 pictures, each one smaller than the other. And then it erased them from the outside going in, each one larger to the smaller. And then they all disappeared. That's the Zoom Trails option. Let's click on that and see how we can make any adjustments there. Um, we can change the center of the picture, as we've learned before. We can take the degree of, of shrinking. And here you, again, you see what happens. We can start somewhat smaller. And we can end at a different spot as well. Then we have a custom button. Let's click on that. Basically, all that does is it gives you the number of trails or uh, multiple boxes that you can use. Let's go from 10 to 7 and click on OK. And then we'll click on Done and render it. So our modified transition looks like this. Let's play it. Okay, you notice in the case where I uh, don't let it get back to full screen, there's a bit of a jump here when we get to the last couple frames, because then it's, when it's done with a transition, it will snap to full screen. So I generally would leave those sliders at their default, even if I might change uh, the actual number of boxes here uh, to make it stand out. But those are a few ways in which you can use and modify these Zoom transitions in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018.